Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 2 of my Beauty Bliss series. If you are unfamiliar with the Beauty Bliss series, it is basically me combining my love for beauty and my love for ASMR into a series of videos for you. Um, if you don't find this particular video interesting, please stick around because it could possibly bore you to sleep. But in today's particular episode, number two, I will be doing a showing of my perfume collection. For those of you who have been with me for um, over seven months, you will know that I did a perfume roleplay and most of the perfumes in that video were my mother's but today I want to show you my personal collection. If I do sound touchy or anything, this is my third attempt at making this video so if a storm breaks loose or cars or everywhere um, and you know that that was my last attempt but fingers crossed there's no background noise this time and we do get some peace for this video okay. so I really hope you enjoy the video so sit back and enjoy so the first perfume I want to show you is this one this one is Beyonce Heat and Mrs. Carter Tour limited edition 100 milliliter bottle. It is a light blue box with a gold engraving around the edges and it has the B embossed into it. I got this for Christmas as a surprise from my friend. I didn't even know this perfume existed. Yes, it is a hundred milliliter bottle, so it's going to last me a very long time. As you can see, the bottle is glass and the lid is plastic. It is from her heat range. I was very skeptic with this perfume before smelling it as I didn't like any of her other perfumes that she had done as they weren't personally for me, um, either too musky, too dark. For me personally, I prefer sweeter smells and fresh smells. So as you can see, we have a very slender bottle, a very unique design, and it has a green yellowy tinge at the bottom, liquid, and then it rises up to a dark blue and a turquoise. I hope you can hear the liquid sound. I wear this perfume a considerable amount. Okay, 
so I won't be spraying it, but I will describe the scent to you. So it has a gold sprayer at the top. It's a very elegant design, and I would say it's both suitable for anywhere between mid-teens and all the way up. Of course, perfume is designed for your specific taste, but it's just my personal recommendation. For those of you who do like particularly sweet smells, and very, I'd say the stronger note in this is freshness, it doesn't feel like your lungs are getting clogged or anything. This feels really good. It's a nice gentle smell which subtly removes itself throughout the day. There are some perfumes which I want to show you which stay there for a long time. This one's really, really good. I do like this. All these perfumes that I'm showing you are extremely affordable and also very famous brands, I think. I don't really have long nails to tap recently. the first one. Okay. You can still purchase this despite it saying limited edition on it. Sui or Su, and is this beautiful peacock box, which I only just opened in one of the takes for this video. So I have not smelt this perfume until today. You get a clue on most boxes with what kind of smell it will be like. So on this one, you would get the idea that it's um, maybe musky and suitable for night time because of the beautiful drawings of the moon, some flowers, plants circling the edge. But you have this, it's called Anasui Su, 30 millilitres, night of fancy. It's a 30 milliliter bottle. I received this for Christmas, but as I thought I had plenty of perfumes to work with, I thought that I will open it when I need it. this lovely, almost velvet feel kind of box, which adds to the classiness and uniqueness which this, bo which this bottle already encompasses. It's extremely unique. It has the peacock design. It looks black, but it's very dark purple. And then you have this slender bottle underneath it. Okay. So 
As with all the perfumes I'm showing you today, I will not be spraying them. The peacock itself makes some really interesting sounds because of the detail crafted into it. So, as described and giving clues from the box itself, the perfume is musky. It's extremely musky. And it does sit there for a long time. More than any other perfume I sprayed in the past takes of this video, this one has remained. But it's still lovely. I would say it's definitely more for nighttime, more so for meals than a party. I don't know why, but the Lady Gaga perfume, I'd say, is good for parties and things like that. Like I said though, um, it's all down to your own to interpretation with these perfumes, whether you like them or not. you can see, the bottle has this really beautiful, delicate design on it, and I like the size of it, although not particularly travel size. It is more slender and suitable for a bag than most perfume bottles because of its shape. But yes, it is extremely musky. If you want the ingredients for this, you can search them all online. Yes, I received this for Christmas, surprisingly as well, like the other perfumes. Um, I would say, perhaps more for the older lady, or for those who just like musk scents. But, it, like I said, it's your interpretation, but it's definitely a very strong smell, and not something I'll be wearing a lot. So that's that one. Okay. okay, so the next one I have to show you is a body mist, which I wear almost every day. It is this one by the body shop. And it is a pink grapefruit one. Body shop um, is located in the UK. I don't know about foreign countries to us, but um, I'm sure a lot of the British watchers of this will be very familiar with Body Shop. It's a kind of present people get for Christmas. Okay, so the Body Shop do very fresh smells very true to their word, very simplistic smells, but also very fresh and strong. So this one is pink grapefruit, my favourite smell from the shop. It's very simple, it sprays very well, and you can smell it from here without me even spraying it. So it's a 100ml bottle. 
and there isn't really much to talk about with this one apart from the fact that if you like fresh smells they do them musky ones but mostly they do very fruity smells this is a very common product which can be found in the store and there are cheaper alternatives like this in most shops around your country but for me personally I really like this so I'll quickly tell you what it says it says pink grapefruit body mist with pink grapefruit extract and community fair trade essence from sugar cane okay so that's that bottle Nice simple product that I thought I'd just quickly show you. You also may recognise this from me from my opening lids video. Okay. Okay, so the next one I think I'm going to show you is this one. This is, I think, a 30 milliliter bottle, or 50, I think 30, of Vera Wang Princess. As you can tell, it's very girly and can make you feel very young and fresh and fun. This perfume has, personally for me, my favourite perfume, which I own. Vera Wang also does another perfume with sequins on it, which is my favourite scent, but I haven't acquired it yet, but I hope to do so soon. So it has this beautiful crown on it, with pink crystals. I used to wear this as a ring, actually. And, um, yeah, I thought it was really cute as a ring. So, although it does have a tinge of musk in the background, it is generally a very sweet smelling perfume, as most Vera Wang perfumes are. It has like indentations in it to make it more surreal and perhaps 3D. And it has a basic heart shape, which is also very symbolic for a very girly girl. Again, I'd say more so for the younger people, but don't get me wrong, it's anyone can wear it. And yeah, there's not a lot to talk about with this one, apart from the fact that it's very easy to get and obtain. Vera Wang, if for me, is a hit and miss. Uh, Love Struck for me is a horrible perfume, but this one and the sequin bottle is really good. A lot of women will own this perfume because it's just very good for both day and night. Okay. So, I think I'm going to show you one more. And I think I'm going to show you this one. I opened this in the first take of my video, so unfortunately I can't do an unboxing and wrapping video, but I can try my best. So this was another perfume I received from my parents at Christmas time. It's a very cheap and affordable perfume by Katy Perry, and it's called Per. I believe it's a 30 milliliter bottle. Oh, it's a 50 milliliter bottle, and it's made in America. And it has the iconic Katy Perry on the front. Although I own perfumes by music artists that I sometimes don't like, they can still bring out really good perfumes. And I'll show you one really good example of that soon. Now, for those who like musky smells, um, like I know my mother does. Um, Armani Code is definitely a really nice smell. Um, Elizabeth Arden's perfumes, Elizabeth Taylor's perfumes are really good. 
my mum's owned perfumes from um, all kinds of people, so I'd best ask her for perfume recommendations for other people. So, she's wearing a cat suit. She's trying to keep this video non explicit. And, and there's the ball of wool, I think. Yes. Okay, so she has done another one called Meow, which is a light pink bottle. But today I'm showing you Pear. Now, as the name would possibly suggest, you would have some indication that this bottle may be possibly shaped, or have some indication of a cat or a feline. And it does. This is perhaps the cutest bottle I think I've ever seen. Apart from Nina Ritchie's perfumes. But I absolutely love it. Especially this little cute colour. So sweet. And it says pear on the front. And I think this will be the one perfume that I will spray today. Okay. So the perfume perfume itself is dark purple and comes in a very cute bottle which is a perfect gift for young girls, older girls, women. Okay, so I love it. Um, to me personally I smell fruits and sweetness. It's very very potent in a good way and I personally absolutely adore it. It has that perfect combination of both daytime and nighttime and I absolutely adore it so much and she has these beautiful see-through eyes here and I like it because of how unique the bottle is and when it comes to bottles which are unique I tend to keep them. I also have this really cute little tail at the bottom too. So yeah, you have this perfume which I highly recommend that you get. Now quickly before I finish up, I just want to let you know that the Nicki Minaj perfume, which I received a sample of in the mail, is also very sweet and lovely. Nicki Minaj is someone personally I don't listen to, but I know from previous times that sometimes, even if you don't like someone, their perfume may still be really nice. This one is probably the sweetest one. And it's getting mixed up with the other perfume, so I can't give a full determination of this perfume. But from what I can recollect, the perfume is very sweet. And it doesn't smell tacky or cheap. It smells very pretty. And I can smell like candy and sweets from it, which has encouraged me to spray that again. So I actually think I may be buying this perfume, despite the original bottle looking quite terrifying. I think I might actually buy it. You can get the sample online for free. <clears throat> Sorry. All these perfumes are making me cough. So, unfortunately I have to wrap it up here and clear my voice. So today that's been my perfume collection video. I did have some others which I can show in a later date. But for now, I will see you all very soon, and I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any requests, please leave them down below. Take care, guys.